Hello children, in today's class, I am going to explain the poem, The Highway Man, line by line. Okay, let us now move into the poem. So, I have already given you introduction on the poet and the poem. Now, we are moving into the poem directly without wasting much time. So, as I said, the poem is divided into two parts. So, this is part 1 with several stanzas and I am going to teach now first stanza. So, the wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. And the highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. So, if you see, the poem begins with metaphors. See, in the first line, the point actually, he compares the wind. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. So, here, here the wind, uh, uh, you know, it is compared, uh, he has, the point has compared the wind to a torrent of darkness. That is, we imagine that a torrent being like a black river rushing and swirling along. And next, second line, the moon. The moon was a ghostly galleon. So the moon, here the poet compares the moon to a ghostly galleon. Galleon is a, a big old ship. So the moon is compared to a ghostly old ship. Okay. So, the meaning is, uh, the moon is like a ship sailing through the sky. Understand? So, this is the meaning here. The moon is uh, like a ship sailing through the sky. So, the setting here is night time. That is the implication here. So, the setting is night time, uh, which is used to create a scary mood. Okay. So, now, uh, the third is, third metaphor is, uh, the road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor. So now the point describes the road. The road, uh, if you see the road, it shines bright on this uh, uh, windy night. And the road looks like a ribbon of moonlight. See, the road was a ribbon of moonlight. So the road looks like a ribbon of moonlight. That is, the road runs through a purple moor. Okay, the road which looks like a ribbon of moonlight, it runs through a purple moor. So, the moor uh, is not uh, purple, but uh, the night and the moonlight must be making them look purple. Okay, so the, actually the moor, purple moor here is, uh, moor is not purple, but uh, uh, as I said, the night and the moonlight must be making them look purple. And next, here comes our hero of the poem, that is uh, the highwayman. And the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. So here comes the highwayman. All the above lines, all these above lines, the three lines, uh, tells us that he is riding up to the old door of an inn. So he came, the highwayman came. Riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. So he is riding, highwayman is riding up to the old door of an inn. So this is the setting, first stanza. And now we will move on to the second stanza. He had, that is the highwayman had a French cocked hat on his forehead. So, this second stanza describes the highwayman, how he is dressed up. So, this is the highwayman's stanza describes highwayman, how he is dressed up. And he has got, the highwayman has got a French hat on. Okay, he has a French hat on and also a bunch of lace at his chin. That is a bunch of lace tucked into uh, the top of his shirt. Okay, he has a bunch of lace uh, uh, tucked into the top of his shirt. And his coat, a coat of claret velvet, 
that is this coat is made of velvet the coat of claret velvet is made of velvet claret is a color okay it's a color that is a deep uh, red wine color that is claret deep red wine color so he has a, he wears a coat of coat velvet coat which was which is in red color and his breeches what are breeches breeches are nothing but uh, pants okay his pants are made up of dust skin that is uh, pants color is brown so breeches are his pants are made up of dust skin so uh, i'm sorry doe skin what is doe doe is like uh, made up made the skin uh, made from deer okay d so it is brown brown color doe skin and uh, his they fitted with never a wrinkle that is his pants fit tight with no wrinkles okay his pants that is they refers to breeches that is pants they fitted with never a wrinkle uh, his pants fit tight with no wrinkles his boots were up to the thigh and his boots are thigh high okay his boots are thigh high so all these were all these description were given uh, to impress his lady love so all these dress may may be wore to impress his lady love best but if you see today it all these things will not work isn't it today these things will not work and his clothes give us a hint that the poem was set or takes place sometime in the 18th century and he wrote with a jewelled twinkle his pistol butts a twinkle his happier head a twinkle under the jewelled sky so the guy that is highway man is dressed up so fancily uh, that uh, he seems to twinkle like a jewel understand he rode with a twinkle jewel so he dressed so impressively or uh, fancily that uh, he seems to twinkle like a jewel he he himself glitters like a jewel and he carries a pistol his pistol so this line this particular line shows us that uh, he is heavily armed with pistols and a rapier so what is a rapier see his pistols but a twinkle his pistol to that also twinkle and his rapier what is the meaning of this word rapier rapier is a long thin sword okay what is rapier rapier is a long thin sword so he is heavily armed the highwayman is heavily armed with pistols and rapier that is sword so even the sky glitters understand under the jeweled sky jeweled sky is now even the sky seems to glitter so everything in the stanza is glittering with beauty so right from the beginning if you see till the end everything glitters with beauty so now we will move on to the third stanza over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the dark in yard and he tapped with his whip on the shutters but all was locked and barred he whistled a tune to the window and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black eyed daughter bess the landlord's daughter plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair so the highwayman now he comes into the dark courtyard of the inn okay he enters the highwayman enters into the dark courtyard of the inn and he tries to make a, a noise make a lot of noise on the paving stones that is the cobble cobbles okay paving stones that is the cobbles he may try to make a lot of noise then after entering the inn he taps and he tapped with his whip on the shutters he taps on the shutters that covers the window shutters which covers the window he tapped on those shutters but everything is locked up so the windows or the shutters were closed but everything was locked up so he didn't get any 
response. So what did he did next? What did he do next? He uh, he tried he tried again. Okay, he didn't give up. He tried again. He gives a whistle. He whistled a tune to the window. He gives a whistle, and the landlord's daughter Bess shows up. Okay, listening to the sound or to the whistle, the landlord's daughter. What is her name? Bess. Bess shows up. So here, the next line, if you see, Bess uh, beauty is described. Okay, so she is also pretty. Listen, who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess. The landlord's daughter, Platy. A dark red low note into her long black hair. So she is also pretty. She has black eyes. That is black eyed daughter. She got black beautiful black eyes and long black hair. So when the highwayman shows up, Bess is plating. Bess is seen plating or braiding a low note into her hair. She was putting a low note into her hair. So the knot is actually the symbol of love for him. Okay, she wants to express or show her love or, uh, uh, to the man and uh, through a symbol. So, so she tried to put a love knot into her hair. And the knot is in dark red. That is the love knot into her long black hair plating a dark red love knot. So the knot is dark red. So red actually, if you see, it is repeated here. It stands for, uh, red stands for love, passion. Okay. So the man comes and the lady appears. This is in stanza 3. Now we'll move on to the next stanza, fourth stanza. And dark in the dark old inn yard, the stable wicket creaked. Where Tim, the ostler, listened. His face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness. His hair like moldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened and heard the robbers say. So now here, a new character is introduced in this stanza. So who is that new, new character? You can see it is given here where Tim the ostler listens. So the new character here, here is Tim. So Tim is the ostler. So who is the ostler? Ostler is uh, the guy who takes care of the horses at an inn. So who is the ostler? A guy who takes care of the horses at an inn. So Tim, the guy uh, who is looking after the horses, he is crazy. He is crazy, and uh, uh, he, uh, he he actually uh, loves Bess. Okay, he looks crazy. And with a pitch, with a, if you see pinched white face, okay, his white, white face, insane eyes and hair, okay, that uh, looks like moldy hay. He had hair, okay, he got white face, insane eyes, eyes, his eyes were hollows of madness. So, meaning is, uh, madness is insane, he got insane eyes and his hair look moldy hay so hair uh, looks like you know a moldy hay that looks like moldy hay but he loved the landlord's daughter but he loved in spite of all these defects you know he loved he was in love with landlord's daughter who was this landlord's daughter Bess so now the issue is Tim is also in love with Bess and he listens to the highway dumb as a dog he listened. He listened to the highwayman dumbed as a dog. So dumb here means silent. Silent like a dog he listens. So Tim is compared to a dog because he is a servant. He listened to the highwayman what he is saying. He, he heard the robber. Say who was the robber here? The highwayman. So he tried to listen what the highwayman was sharing with his lady love. So I'll stop with this here. Remaining in the same next class. Thank you.